we'll move on to the next question. Uh, this one uh, is really around uh, thinking strategically on reputation management. And I'll read a quote from your um, book here. Reputation crisis can be the result of a deliberate attacks. Companies usually react to these attacks in a defensive manner. Such a response plays right into the hands of the attackers. Executives need to avoid emotional reactions and treat these challenges for what they are, strategic maneuvers by highly motivated, capable, savvy agents. This is on page 93. In 94, you go into a little bit more around uh, boycotts and the pattern recognitions. Can you talk to us you know, how, to, how organizations can think strategically in this reputation yes. management? So there is, a, there is a, a class of reputational challenges and crises that are really, that do not originate with an accident or problem with the business practices, but that are strategically created by third parties. That can be politicians, attorney generals, advocacy groups, NGOs. Basically, the motivation is that they, are, they find a particular part of the business offensive or business practice offensive and they wanna change it. And the way they do it is they try to create attention um, in, in the public space, so that would lead to a reputational challenge for the company, and then the company has to respond. So um, that's, the, that's the way this works. Now, companies typically have a tendency to react emotionally to that, so they feel singled out unfairly. For example, they may think, well, we're doing such a wonderful job, why are they going after us? Or our competitors are a lot worse, why are they going after us and then here? And what you gotta recognize is that a good advocate, a good advocacy group is really picking their targets strategically. They're picking a Walmart or McDonald's not because Walmart is the worst player in the industry. They may be, but that's not the point. The point is, is that if I'm getting traction on McDonald's or Walmart, I'm much more likely to gain traction for my overall issue. So that requires for executives to really think backwards and understand how these processes work, how advocacies work, and then, like a chess player, say, you know what, if I'm, making, if I'm moving my white pawn, they're gonna do this, was this a good move for me, or do I need to, need to adjust? That's what I mean by a strategic mindset. You, you mentioned the book even building business partners. Absolutely, it can be a partnership too. So sometimes there is a, the best way to address this is to have a, an alliance uh, with a moderate NGO because that can, that can A, provide you information about an issue, but also can give you credibility uh, with your customers or with other um, co constituencies that are important to you. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great advice. 